Hey there, hey there. God bless you. God bless you. Just want to encourage you a little bit today. I know that it has been a kind of a rough season for many of you and I want you to know that I understand. We have been and we are going to be talking about anxiety, that paralyzing fear that can just spread through your body. Those times when, you know, you're not able to think, you're not able to move. I want to let you know that God desires that you have an anxiety-free life, believe it or not. God wants you to know that anxiety is invasion. It does not belong in your soul. You know, there's a scripture that says that there remaineth a rest, a rest to the people of God. Scripture says, for he that is entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own works. He has ceased from trying to do things his way. And a lot of times, the reason that we have continued in anxiety, and you will see as you look at the video that I've placed at the top of the page, is that we are trying to be in control. We're trying to be in control about things that we have no control over. One thing that I had to learn was to make two lists. I had to talk, I had to begin to say, okay, am I in control of this? And if I'm not, I had to put that on that list. And then the list that I am in control of, that's a different list. And there are things that we simply as human beings are not in control of. And we are going to have to learn to recognize those things. And then choose to be in control of trusting the one who is control in control of it. You hear what I'm saying to you? Then I'm going to focus my trust to the one who is in control of that, who is God. Once we begin to understand that there are just some things we cannot do within our own human strength. No human being can do it. I remember when I struggled with the fear of death, you know. And I remember how God began to show me, because you want to be in control of something that you're not in control of. You're not in control of your lifespan. You're not in control. There's just some stuff you're not in control of. And really, we, it, believe it or not, we're operating in a spirit of pride. Not the kind of pride that you're happy that something has, you know, gone on and you're, you're, pro, you're you know, grateful. No. We're in, trying to be in control. I got this. And God said, no, you don't. Nobody has that I do. So why are you focusing on something that you can do nothing about? You're spinning your wheels. It's nothing you can do about certain things. And so what I've learned to do is when I have discovered that it's on that list that I can't control it, I have to turn my back to it and I have to focus my attention and my energy on those things that I can control. Instead of Instead of wasting energy on the things that I cannot control. You see? See, what the enemy does many times in anxiety is that he torments us about things that we cannot control. So he knows there's no resolve for it. He knows we'll never be able to control whatever that is. So then he keeps us in a state of torment. So what we have to do is step back and say, can I control this? I can't. Can I control that? I can control that. So now I have two lists. And my list that I can control, I'm going to put my energy in that. I'm going to put my focus in that. On the things I cannot control, I have to come to a resolve about. I have to say, God, I can't control that. I have, there's nothing that I can do. I can't figure out a way. I can't muster up the strength or the know-how to control it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to release it into your hands. There remaineth therefore a rest. God wants you to rest. He wants you to come to the resolve of what you can't control and what you can't control. And what you can't control, then he wants you to let it go. Because it's it's not even, you still can't control it. But you see, with sometimes anxiety, you're just frustrated about what you can't control. So you never gain control of it, you just stay frustrated. And the enemy torments you. See, we have to begin to walk wisely when it comes to life, what we can and cannot control. There remaineth a rest, therefore, the scripture says in Hebrews 4, 
There remains therefore a rest to the people of God. For he that is entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own works. I've stopped trying to control what I can't control. Ah, I stopped. I made a resolve about what I can't control. Because I can't control it. Right? It says, let us labor. Listen to that. Let us labor, therefore, to enter that rest. Sometimes you have to work to enter the rest because the enemy, or the way we think, has pulled us out of a place of knowing, of resting, of being in that resolve that I gave that. It's none of your business. <laughs> Some stuff ain't none of our business. We can spend our wills all day, but we still will never be able to get a resolve. It's none of my business. We have to get to the point that we say, God, you know what? That's none of my business. Or that's your business. There's a scripture that says here, I love this scripture. In Psalms 116 and 7 says, return to your rest, O my soul. Return to your rest where the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. What does that really mean for us? The Lord has given me the revelation that I can't control that. <laughs> and so I'm not going to spend my wheels trying to control something that I will never be able to control. That's why the scripture says, take no thought. I'm not going to take that thought that, I, that somehow I can control what I cannot control. Y'all got to listen. So we have to become more spiritually intelligent. We got to weigh things. Make a list. Can I control it? Put it on that list. I'm going to work on that then. I'm going to put my effort in on doing that. Can I not control it? I'm going to put that on the other list. I got to take this list of things that I cannot control and give them to the one who is in control. Oh, God. I got to, I have to deliberately make a decision that I'm giving it to him. So then when the devil begins to knock on my door about the stuff that's on the list I can't control, I got to say, you're a liar. I can't control that. So you can, you can come and take your feelings and all the stuff you're giving me. I ain't got nothing to do with that. That ain't none of my business. Start telling the devil, that ain't none of my business. <laughs> Start telling yourself, that ain't none of my business. I can't control that. I'm going to use my time and my effort on things that I can control. What I can control is to let you know, devil, that I cannot control that situation. And neither can you. Because you're not in control. So spirit of fear... I command you to loose me. And God, I receive the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. My mind is sound because I get it. I have the revelation that some stuff is just, it's just not my business. And some things is none of our business. The day, in reference to... Um, when we're going to die and how we're going to die. You can put your, now I ain't going to lie to y'all. I put in my request. <laughs> I said, Lord, I want to die in my sleep. I just told him. I just want to ease away. Just worship and ease away. I put my request in. But guess what? I still can't control that. I can spend the rest. I can spend all day today, tomorrow, the next day, the next day, the next day trying to worry about how I can resolve that and I can't. It's futile. So the devil torments us about stuff that's out of our control. So, but I do know who can control it. I do know who is in charge of life and death. I do know it's God. The word of the Lord tells me that it is appointed for once for man to die. There is an appointment. That's one appointment we all going to be on time for. <laughs> God. It's, there, it, the, the devil doesn't have the power of life and death in his hand. The devil is not equal to God. The opposite of God is not the devil. Y'all hear me? That's not, there is no opposite of God. There is no one beside him. God created everybody. Including the devil. Because he was a, he was a fall, he is a fallen angel. So you can say devil, you can whirl all you want. But I gave, that ain't none of my business. I gave that to the one who I trust. 
That's how you can say that when I'm afraid, I will trust you. I will, I will calculate. I will remember what I can and cannot control. And I will give that to God. I choose to give it to you, God. I want to encourage you today. You let me tell you something. Don't you settle for allowing the devil to talk to taunt you about things that are out of your hand. You got to get an attitude about that one. Got to decide what I can control, what I can't control, and they say, "Return to my rest. Chill out." So chill out, mind. Chill out, emotions. God, thank you for flushing that mess. No, I return, return to your rest, oh my soul. Because God has let me in on the revelation. I can't control that. It's futile. I can spend the next 50 years trying to do it, and this answer is still going to be the same. I can't control it. I'm going to put my effort, my mind, and my energy on those things that I can control. This is a key for you to be able to move out of anxiety. I'm going to tell you all the truth. When I began to, um, this morning, um, when I was I was about to put um, the part two of the series that we're doing, I Will Not Fear, on, but I believe the Holy Spirit wanted me. I have so many, I have so many videos. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even remember. I said, oh my God, I got a video right here called What If? What if this happens? And what if that happens? And what if that? I said, Lord have mercy. Let me interrupt the, the flow of this and put those on. The two is two videos. So today out, Sunday I will, will have that one on. And then Monday I will put this part two. What if this happened? Well, what if that happened? Then I got to say, okay, wait a minute, hold up. Can I control what that, what if? If that what if question is in my mind and I cannot control the outcome of that, I got to tell, to tell the devil, no, you're a liar. I don't, I, that's none of my business. That's my father's business. So I'm going to enter into a place of rest about that. I had to learn that it's some things just out of my, what's the, what's the use of me spending time? I'm wasting time. I'm wasting effort. I'm wasting energy on stuff that I'll never get an answer for. I'm not doing that. So you got to make a decision. The devil, you have, you have diverted my attention long enough on stuff I can't even control. No, I give it to the one. And then I build my relationship with him so that I can feel at peace knowing that God, you got it. The word of the Lord says that perfect love casts out all fear. A mature relationship with God brings you to a place of being able to stay at a place of rest. Because you get it. I don't have the answer for this. But I have a relationship with the one who has the answer. And he said, I got this. God, thank you, Jesus. So I want you to think about that today. Make your list. Whatever it is that the enemy is gnawing you about, make a list. I can control. I can't control. Where does it belong? If it's on the I can't control, roll up your sleeves and handle your business. <laughs> get, get the going. If I can't, if I have something to do with it, you know, I may, you know, if it, if it has to do with my, uh, I need to lose some weight or whatever, it's some stuff I have to do with that. But if it's things that I cannot, it's beyond human ability for me to, 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 to check. I can't change nobody. I can't get inside nobody and make them understand. I cannot control when I die. I cannot control when somebody else dies. I, it's just stuff. I can't. It's nothing I can do. Nobody else can either. No human being can. <laughs> so then you know what? That one. I gotta say, God, I give that to you. I gotta look at it and say, Lord. I'm concerned about when I'm going to die. But I can't control that. You know what I decided when I was afraid to die? I said, I want to get it so close to you, God. I'm going to put forth the effort to get so close to you 
that I'll have a peace about things that I cannot control. And that one I can't control. I'm going to get so close to you, God. That when other things happen in the lives of people that I cannot control, that I can hide in that place of you. The word of the Lord said he's our hiding place. So I allow the anxiety to drive me to have a closer walk with God. So what the devil meant for bad, he just ran me to Jesus. <laughs> I begin to build my relationship with God. I begin to realize what I could control and what I could not. We can't control our heartbeat. We can't control our brain function. We can't. It's a lot of stuff we can't control, y'all. But I can't tell the devil. That you're not going to torment me for the rest of my life. That's going to be a no. I can use the tools. And I can relinquish the things that I cannot control. Because let me help you out. They're in God's hand anyway if you relinquish them or not. <laughs> the relinquishing them just helps you out. They're out of your hands anyway. So I do what I can. The number one antidote to come out of anxiety is to build and mature your relationship with God and to determine what you can and cannot control. That's number two. And to focus, take your focus to what you can control and, and those that you can't let it go and deal with the enemy. Amen. Your resolve to what you can't control is to relinquish it to the one who can. Just wanted to come on today. I'm going to put those scriptures on there. I want you to hear that scripture again. Listen to what it says and we're going to go. It says here that there remains a rest. God wants you to enter into a rest. That's after you get the revelation, you're able to. It remains there for a rest to the people of God. For he that has entered into his rest has also ceased from his own works. I'm not trying to control stuff I can't control. I ceased from that. I ceased from trying to get answers to stuff I ain't going to have answers to. And get answers before God get. I, some stuff I just can't do, y'all. I finally got to receive that. I cease trying to make this happen and make that happen. I cease. Stop. So God is saying to you, stop trying to make sense out of stuff that no human being, God didn't give us the capacity to know all of that. So how are you going to get to know what he didn't give us the capacity to know? So I just let it go. I cease from his own works as God did from him. Then it says, let us labor. Work. You got to do some work. There it is right in the word of God, y'all. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. I got to fight. I got to beat back the tendency to want to be in control. I got to beat back those, those words and feelings from the enemy. Because he, he wants to torment me. He know, I, he know I ain't got no control over it. So now he's going to keep dangling it in my face so I can be tormented. Because I can't. There's no resolve for it. That's torment. So I have to labor. I use my principles and strategies. If I have an issue with my body, I have to realize that God is above the doctor. God's above the symptoms. He's above all of that. And so, once again, I got to do my part. God, is something I need to do? If not, I got to give it to the one who has control. says here the last one return i love that return to your rest oh my soul look at that look at that song that person is taking authority over their soul return for the lord has dealt bountifully with you god has given you the revelation that your soul can be at a place of rest your soul can only be at a place of rest when you come to the resolve of what you can control and what you cannot 
I pray today that somebody was blessed by this word today. I'm going to put those scriptures up there. Amen. Allow revelation of the truth to set you free. God bless you. Thank you for sharing your little time with me. God bless you. I see you. I see you. I'm not going to call names because I'm definitely going to put this up. <laughs> I got to put this one up. This, this one got to go up. I got to up, upload this one. Amen. Come to the realization of what you can control and what you cannot. And then come to know the one who can control everything so that you can rest. God wants you to rest. Rest. He wants you to rest and enjoy the life that he's giving you here and not live in a place of torment. I pray in Jesus' name you are blessed today. I want you to make sure you listen to all of the um, the teachings on anxiety and ask the Spirit of God. Have a, a conversation with the Spirit of God before you look at videos. Because I'm nothing in and of myself. I'm nothing. I just lend myself to God. He's the one who's speaking. Ask the Spirit of the living God, let me hear you. And apply the revelations to my life. Because you have given me life. And life more abundantly. God bless you, love and kisses to you all who join me. I'll be talking to you later. Bye-bye.